After a test flight on Saturday by Air Sanga from Port Mosby to Hayfield, CASA have given the OK for the airstrip to be used. For Maprik, being the service centre for almost all districts in East and West Sipic provinces, the airstrip will be a very big help for businesses. He said the airstrip can be used by small aircrafts and they will be speaking with New Guinea for link PNG to have access to the airstrip. Though we have a very strong economy in Maprik, uh, banking service was a problem. And we had, uh, we had conversations with the bank managers, the banks, and one of the problems the bank told me is, they said, uh, remember, we're having a problem in handling cash. If only there can be a airport close, close by, we would extend other services as well. And I'm happy to inform the banks and everyone that uh, AFIL airport or hash strip is now giving the OK. Uh, there is no more restrictions on AFIL. It's ready to be used. Simon said the total cost of the upgrade is 5 million kina, of which 3 million comes from the Prime Minister and 2 million from DSIP. He added that business houses in Maprik have also agreed to help build a terminal and upgrade the 1.1 km runway to 1.6 km. The Highfield Airstrip, the Highfield Airport would be, uh, it's like it's a, it's a relief for the people, for us. So Esanga has promised us that next week, towards the end of this week, they've got a twin order, they will leave it up in Maprik. So it will do Maprik, Eiffel, Wanimo, Eiffel, Wanimo, Wanimo, Eiffel. John Simon said the airstrip will be officially open when the Prime Minister visits Maprik in the next few weeks. He urged the people of Maprik to look after the service because it will look after them in the long run. Rayon Lakingu, National MTV News.